diets to try and lose body fat and to actually get healthy do you know somebody with pcos hashimoto's hypothyroid insulin resistance type 1 type 2 diabetic and they're struggling with weight loss and they're doing all these ridiculous diets tag them in this share this with them because i'm going to break it all down to stop doing all these different diets to lose body fat whenever my clients are like what do i do how do i get started what diet are you doing for your clients to lose 50 to 100 pounds in less than a year what do i tell them it's not a diet and I don't really even like the word lifestyle change, honestly. I don't really know why. It just, that, that word cringes me. Kind of like the word moist. So many people hate the word moist, but let me tell you, a lot of things need to be moist. So that's why I created True Drive. Ladies, the cookie is super dry and you need a moist cookie. True Drive is phenomenal. Just throwing that out there. But keto, Whole30, Atkins, carnivore, paleo, Whole30, I already said that one, vegan, vegetarian, which diet is the best, how to lose body fat, seriously, stop doing diets. The problem is too, is so many people, like let's say for instance, keto, people aren't even doing keto right. It's not even keto half the time because everybody's eating all these keto treats out of the grocery store, all the garbage down the grocery store aisles. It's not keto. If you actually look at the back of the package, it's gonna be around 15 to 20 grams of carbs. But people are like, oh, you subtract net carbs, you subtract this and that. The real keto diet is 75% of your calories are coming from fats. That's why majority of the time people are deep throating butter when they're doing the keto diet. And you need 25% of your calories coming from protein. You're only taking in 20 grams of all carbs when you're actually doing the keto diet. So when you're doing that, you're actually tracking macros. I don't even have my clients tracking macros because tracking macros just overcomplicates this weight loss thing way too much. And way too many people are stressing out like, oh my gosh, I already hit my protein for the day. I don't know how I'm gonna get in my fats now or my carbs. I don't have people tracking any of the carbs, fats, or proteins. There's no reason to do it. And that's why these diets and all these different programs, they drive me crazy because people are literally making it like, oh my God, I can't have that cake. Yo, if you wanna have the piece of cake on your kid's birthday, have the piece of cake on your birthday. It's your anniversary, you go on vacation and there is this delicious ice cream cone in Hawaii and you're like, I gotta take it in. And some of us, maybe like Greg is like, I'm gonna do three scoops had to shout that one out on there but if it happens it happens and it's okay then you've got carnivore where people are just eating meat but they're not tracking calories you have to track calories because if you don't you don't know if you're overeating or under eating yes your blood sugars are going to be controlled yes you can absolutely reverse insulin resistance you can absolutely get off of a lot of the medications be by just only eating meat but I want some veggies. I love broccoli, I love asparagus, peas, Brussels sprouts. Side note, ground beef, peas, and cheese. Those three ingredients, make it tonight. I promise you it'll be the best meal you've ever had in your entire life. It's absolutely delicious. But all these different diets, like Whole30, no way in hell would I ever be able to do Whole30. Like that is straight up, that's just real food. Like, let's be real. We're not even adding seasoning to our meat. Oh, I couldn't even imagine on it. But the biggest thing that I see all the time is people like, oh, I did keto and it didn't work for me. I gained all my weight back. Well, you lost body fat, so it obviously worked, but you're just not gonna do it forever. And that's the thing, you gotta do something that you can do forever. And that's why I tell people all the time, stop doing diets, stop buying all these programs, Jenny Craig, Atkins, uh, Noom, uh, these network marketing companies, buying all the, if you wanna get the ready-made meals and it makes it easier, as long as it's real food, go for it. That's what I always tell people. If it's real food, you'll be fine, go for it. But do something that you're gonna be able to do forever. And that's why when I talk about just eating real food, stop eating stuff out of a box that there's no nutritional value to it. And you start to live to eat and not eat to live. You gotta live to eat. No, you gotta eat to live, not live to eat. I always throw that one all backwards. Once you start to understand why we eat and the way we eat, how it affects our body, that's when people start to become healthy. It's not about making the scale move. I promise you, I can make you lose 10 
pounds on the scale within an hour. I could probably do it in 30 minutes, but at the end of the day, it's just water weight. Just like when you go eat on vacation for the weekend and you come back and you're up five to six pounds, it's not body fat, it's just water weight. Just because you lose the weight on the scale doesn't mean you're actually getting healthy, doesn't mean with PCOS, Hashimoto's, you're gonna actually start to control hormones, your body's gonna start functioning the way that it should. That's not what it means. Just because you eat only Twinkies and you hit your calorie deficit and you're seeing results on the scale, that doesn't mean you're going to get healthy. So with the diets, stop doing a diet. Just eat real food. Do something that you can do forever. And if you have cake, you have soda, you have pastries, it's the 4th of July, it's Christmas, it's fine. Trust me, when I say this, Thanksgiving, I'm eating more than everyone there combined. It's fine. I know the repercussions of it. I know I'm going to feel bloated. I'm going to be tired. My blood sugar is going to go through the roof and I'm going to want more carbs and sugars afterwards. But the beauty of it is, is we all have the choice to what we put into our body every single day. So we just start right back up on the next meal. There's no, oh, I cheated this weekend. You didn't cheat. You just had cake. It didn't help benefit your body. It didn't give your body nutrients. It's not cheating. It was just empty calories. So stop beating yourself up if you have something over the weekend. But just know if you're eating that stuff every single weekend, every single week, and you're not getting the results that you want, know what it is. No, it's not helping you whatsoever to make your body thrive. And once you realize that, it starts to become simple. And you're not doing a diet anymore. You're not doing a program. So that's why I tell people all the time, stop doing plans. Stop doing diets. Do something that you can absolutely do forever. And when people are like, oh, it's not sustainable. What is not sustainable about be eating real food? Meat, veggies, nuts, seeds, fruits, dairy. I just don't drink milk. What's not sustainable? And they're like, well, what if you have your birthday? So then eat a piece of cake. It's fine, have ice cream. I promise you, 30 days out of the entire year, eat whatever the hell you want. I don't care, 30 days, that's a lot of days out of the year. That's at least, it's, all, it's almost three times a month, eat whatever the hell you want. I wouldn't, I don't, because I hate feeling that way. I hate feeling bloated. I hate feeling gassy. Let me tell you, I had some pork. I don't know what it is. The last two days, I just had these pork steaks I've never had before, and I'm like, oh my God, this is bad. But it's not fun being bloated. And that's why I love eating the way that I do, real food. I'm not bloated, I'm not gassy, I'm not, lact I'm not lactose tolerant. Um, I'm not having all these carbon sugar cravings. My body's thriving, hormones are functioning the way that it should. So if you know somebody doing a diet or doing a program and they're struggling or they're like, oh my gosh, the best thing I've ever done in my life. Like there's the most ridiculous stuff out there like egg fasts. No duh, you're gonna lose body fat just eating eggs. You're just doing fats and proteins and there's no way in hell you're gonna take in too many calories coming from eggs. So of course you're gonna get results, but you're not gonna do that for the rest of your life. Let me tell you, you're gonna smell. You're not gonna be fun to be around. You ain't gonna get no morning or good night cardio. Let me tell you that. No one's going down on that stinky mess. But it's not something you're gonna do forever. Stop doing the quick fixes, the injections, saran wrapping your body. How you lose body fat is just taking in the right amount of calories, ladies and gents, and just eat real food. I promise you, you do that, you're gonna have the best body you've ever had in your entire life, and you'll be astonished of what happens to the health repercussions of doing that, eating real food, feeding your body the nutrients that it needs. If you guys are struggling, I give you guys my entire step-by-step -step plan. It's free, I break it down on how I do it and how I've got everybody doing it, but I just told you exactly what we do. Tracking calories, if you don't know what your calorie goal is, go use my free calorie calculator and hit your calories every day eating real food. Stop eating stuff out of a box. We already know there's only one box we should all be eating out of. If you guys are new though, seriously, welcome. Share this out, let your friends, family, coworkers, let everybody know where they can go to get this stuff broken down. Seriously, stop doing diets, stop doing all these plans. Just eat real freaking food, hit your calorie goal. If you can work out and be active, go and do it. Your workout program isn't gonna make you toned though. So just know that one. Keep it simple, ladies and gents. And at the end of the day, you got to figure out your why. Why do you want to lose weight? Why do you want to get healthy? It's all about actually getting healthy and getting off all the drugs and medications and actually not being a prisoner in your own body of not being able to experience different things in life. 
Have an amazing freaking day, ladies and gents.